20 from downtown this year. 20 of the... Oh! Guy. He went up on one side like this, brought it down, and came on the other side and dunked it like that. And that's when I realized he was for real. That was one of the ones that really, I think, stuck out in everybody's mind. And at that time, um, everywhere you go, he was like, how'd you do it? What made you do it? Once he started to go up and turn midair, I was like, well, what is he going to do? And then once you see the dunk, you're like, did he really? He didn't. All right, let's get the ball out and let's go on up. Kevin Willis made Dirk change that one. Yes, he did. Good defensive play by Kevin Willis. Carter, oh, Vince Carter. I had the ball, and uh, you know, I, I kind of threw it to him, no look. Got it, did a 360 one hand uh, the wrong way. Uh, and I never seen that. He did 360 the wrong way in transition. Tracy threw him the ball, and you know, I was going through the lane, so I was going to do a 360. And as I'm turning, I felt like in my mind, I'm, I over rotated. And as I'm midway, I turn around, I'm like, no, I better dunk this to two hand just in case. Vince Carter has probably had five or ten of the greatest dunks we've ever seen uh, in game action. Once I hit him, I felt like I just kept going higher and higher. And you know, he was on his way down, and I was still on my way up. And I got him. When he hit Dikembe, he went up to another level. It was like he was looking down at Deke and dunked the ball. And uh, the, the face that I made was, uh, it was perfect for that, that kind of dunk. In that huddle, I looked at him, I said, Deke, mm, that was ugly. That's OK. I blocked more shots than any man on this universe right now. I say, yeah, but you can't wag the finger this time. I've caught some of the events, and they have caught me well, too. I remember the playoff against Toronto. He came in. He almost tried to break my hand. And my hand got caught in the rim just like this, and my skin came off. And I blocked the ball. Great son, because he probably dunked. For that one dunk, he blocked my dunk probably five or six times before that. Carter's got it. He wrapped it and, and touched Alonzo in the air. I was like, hello, Alonzo, how you doing? Ah, oh, I just threw it down on him. That was, whew, that was nasty. You got to find ways to intimidate shot block. Unfortunately, guys like Alonzo Mourning never gets intimidated. He's just going to keep coming. But it, it, it makes a statement. And the fact that he turned sideways made it a little special. That's one of the things that I always said to the guys. If you're afraid to get dunked on, don't be a shot blocker. You know, stay out and let the guy go to the basket and let him do act like he's in a dunk contest. So I was thinking, okay, I have to, I have to take the hit first, and hopefully I'm high enough to still dunk it, and it, it happened. So I think that's what the, that satisfaction uh, of that play uh, comes from because it's something I thought about and it actually came to fruition.